Hi folks, thanks for joining me again today. I'm Stephen Crony. Many thanks for your support, especially all the patrons over at patreon.com slash Stephen Crony. Do join me over there if you get the opportunity. It'd be very much appreciated. Um, today I've got a, a Sutton Park scene that I've took, used from a photograph I took last year, I think it was. Um, let me show you close for the photo. Lucky that it was a nice bright day, so we've got some nice shadows here. Cutting across the foreground, a few darks amongst the trees as well along the horizon line. So let me show you the colours I've used for this. I'll post that photograph on the um, Patreon page so you, you'll be able to see it properly. But we've got ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, raw sienna, burnt umber and light red. So the six colours. Now the brushes, we've got a large run rant and hake. I used a small sword liner brush and a number three rigger brush. Right then, so let's, I haven't sprayed it with water this time, I'm just gonna try and do it slightly different, just see what difference it makes. Um, just gonna take a few little warm, nice warm summery colors, just to add a bit of background flavor. And then I'll just take it from there. This is just lemon yellow, a bit of a lizard and a bit of Payne's grey, just mixing the three together on the paper. Bring that right back down to the bottom and that will just be the background. I'm going to clean the brush, take a little bit of ultramarine. See through the through the trees. Actually, I want it a little bit lighter than that, so I'm just going to use some clean water just to lighten it, just on this side a little bit. The tissue. about there start popping in these trees coming down something like that just lemon yellow just bring this right down and then just try to vary the height as well I'll come down just differentiate that but just bring a little bit of light red in there and bring that a bit on that Right, now I'm switching to a sword liner brush. This is a small sword liner. Taking a bit of brown, a bit of blue. And I'm just going to pop a few trees here and there. These are all the trunks within the foliage of these trees we've put in. Paint's quite wet at the moment, so it's going to just soften off and it will just get sharper as it paper dries. Use your fingernail as well, just even there. That in a moment. For now, I'm just going to bring the grass just around the edge of this pathway that comes sort of snakes its way through something like that 
just shaping the land for now just so I've got something to work up against just create a sort of snaky path just to pull some of that colour in right then let's just pull this tight and then I'm going to go back to the background trees and add a bit more colour and shadows and contrasts and whatnot <clears throat> so clean the brush because I want to go back to a lighter colour so I've got to clean the brush and squeeze all the water out of it Scuff it up on my tea towel and a bit of raw sienna and a bit of lemon yellow and start over here. And sort of, that one's quite high, a lot higher than that. I'm just looking at the proportions now and I can see, see that, that one's quite high up just trying to get the scale right put a bit of ultramarine there just to get a bit of variation in the greens back to the sword liner brush now the paper's a bit drier now, so this should go on a bit stronger. I can see, see how much strong that's going on there. Um, just a bit of brown and a bit of blue. and then I'm going to go back to the greens again, pop those on again. Right then, go back into the greens. this red a few sort of shadowy areas there's a few shadows amongst these right down the depths and right under the bottom of the trees a few on this side just give me that red Clean the brush. I want to get back to a lighter colour. I'm going back into that lemon yellow. Just blend it 
some of these colours together. Take a bit of that burnt umber and just whack it down like that. I've actually I've run out of ultramarine. I've got no paint left. I'm down to my last little lump there on the corner of the tray. I'm waiting for it to come to the post. Always keep plenty of paints in hand. I'm terrible for leaving it to the last minute. Always leave it to the last minute. And this is one of the consequences. I won't use that paints grey. Tell you what I've done recently. I, I scraped off. If you've been watching these videos for a while, you remember I was using CAD yellow. It's got to be three or four years ago, and I found it underneath. I just scraped off the old yellow. Found the old CAD yellow underneath there. So I use it. I do use it dry and re-wet it. I think if it's several years old. I think it stops being usable. That's what I'm starting to find. I know it sounds ridiculous. But right, I'm just picking out some of these dark sections now under the under the trees. I haven't cleaned the brush, I'm just just letting all those colours mix. Something else I've started doing recently as well. I used to sort of start at the back, come to the front, and then that would be it. Now I tend to keep going back and... I mean, they say you're supposed to keep going back and touching things up, but I, can't, I just can't resist it. And I'm not quite sure it, it is such a bad thing. Really. I know you're supposed to fiddle. I, I think there is a thing as sort of good fiddling. So I'm just getting brown and what left I've got the blue. Right, just try to, sometimes I'll do a few just, just a few lines either and there, just to scuff it up a bit. Right, right, I think I'm going to give that a quick dry and then do the foreground trees. I just need a bit more oh, yellow over what I just did there.
Hmm. I'm wondering. I was going to use a sword for this, but because I'm so short of paint, I was going to use. I normally use the blue, bit of brown, bit of blue for darker colours. I have to take a bit of Payne's grey as well, I think. And we've got right in the foreground there. We've got. Um, big tree. I think it's just one tree but it's got like three three trunks coming out of it. Something like that. And one up there. There's another one coming off it there. And if I just switch to the sword brush. Loads of things coming off this way. Do just to really de help distinguish this from the background, just squeeze a bit of neat lemon yellow out and use that for these uh, trunks for these leaves. It's just darken that a little bit, it really needs to be dark so it stands out from the background. Dry. Can you believe it? I've run out of yellow as well. Unbelievable. I've run out of blue and yellow. No paint. I'm waiting for both to come from eBay. Um, so I can't squeeze any yellow out. See what I have got some raw sienna. Let's squeeze some of that out instead. I don't know what it's going to look like. I might do just going to see that yellow first. And just take a bit of raw sienna. Let's mix it with some red actually. See what that looks like. Well, it looks different from the background anyway, huh? That I'll do for that, I think. Um, now, there is another tree. There's a tree there, but it's like a, I don't know if that's like a silver birch or something. It's like a lighter colour. Um, so we can pop that in just by taking away some of the paint. Just using a clean damp brush. Something like that. And what I'll do with that is then just take a bit of brown 
bit of blue and you can sort of just Colours the same. I was using different colours then, I can. Well, I think I'll do for that. Um, right, shadows. Let's make a simple shadow mix. A bit of red, a bit of brown, a little bit of blue. A little bit of Payne's grain to compensate for lack of blue. Um, so it's sort of just something like that. Um, we'll sort of so we'll sort of big one across there. to the other brush just to do these fainter ones across here and a quick dry I'm just going to put a little man in now I think just a little man um, it's just going to be walking around here I think
That's not the best figure in the world. That looks rubbish. Delete that. Let's do it again. Well, I'm going to do me this time. So that looks rubbish as well. Posted in there. Right, let's call that one done, I think. With our little little birds up in the sky. Well, I'm going to sign that one and call it done. Stick a mount on this now and see what it looks like and compare it to the photograph. Right then, so this is our finished painting. Now if you look at the photograph, I've not really changed much. Just focused on the, the main element. We've got the path running through and then we've got trees framing either side of the pathway. And then I've just focused on the darks and the shadowy areas. Everything's pretty similar in terms of where it's located. I haven't really changed any of the elements around. Um, even the trees, now the trees, you've got the sort of dark silhouetted one on the left, just blocked that in, the dark colour, and then added a few bit of foliage to it. And then the one on the right, you can see, um, see the, the lighter, brighter, more lit trunk. So what I did, I took that out with a clean, damp hate brush and then use the, the sword liner just to brush a bit of colour on the right hand side and then just use clean water just to sort of blend it together to get, around any, get rid of any hard edges. So you've got a nice smooth transition from light to dark. Brushed a few branches in and that's all there is to it really. So you can see the path sort of snaking its way and you've got these trees either side of the pathway. So I've just brushed them in en masse using the sword liner brush. And then just the odd one you can see just scraped in with the fingernail, just as if it's sort of catching the light, just to contrast against the other ones. No, no figures in the uh, in the reference, but um, eventually managed to get the little man in and his dog. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks always for watching your support. Remember, do join me over at Patreon.com slash Stephen Crone if you get the opportunity. There's loads of patron only videos and galleries and all sorts of things over there. Always you can see all the reference photographs and exclusive videos. So until next time if you've got any questions please ask, keep practicing and I'll see you again soon.